Hi, I'm Adam Boulay from Dolphinite. Today we're going to show you two new products that we're going to demonstrate at IBEX uh, this year, 2013. Uh, one of them is a new OEM preferred putty. Uh, I've used it several times. It will save you about 80% of your time when you use it. It's an OEM preferred putty. Uh, you can actually uh, use it on any kind of uh, cracks, holes, dings and dents. Uh, super user friendly. So you can get your things done very quickly. And I'm going to apply it right here. Just like that. And while I'm doing this, you can actually color match the boat with the putty. So if you have a blue boat, you can actually get blue pigment. And you can throw it into your cup. So that way, if you spray and you happen to go through your spray area, you will not see still the damaged area. And this is how fast this is. Normally, people that would uh, do this would take a couple of hours. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can do it in about five to ten minutes. There you go. So we're going to let this cure. We'll let it cure. going to sand it out. Very simple. So, here we go. We're done. Cool. That's it. Okay, after we applied the putty, we do some sanding with 220 grit. Uh, this is going to prep the area uh, for the new Dolphinite Jump Coat Aerosol. Uh, spray can. 220 is the best grit you can use. It actually leaves a, a great uh, surface for uh, the Dolphinite gel coat aerosol. So we're just going to sand this out a little bit. Sand the area. As you can see, the putty that actually, the putty we use, the OEM uh, poly putty, uh, has a leveler in it. So we're able to sand it quite quickly and get it ready for uh, spraying the gel coat. Okay. All right, next step, you want to acetone this area. Prep it for the, for the gel coat spray. All right, here's the new Dolphinite gel coat aerosol can. Comes in 180 uh, six different boat manufacturers. We have thousands of colors to choose from. It makes things 10 times easier if you're trying to repair a boat. Uh, normally you would need a compressor, an air hose, uh, your gel coat, your reducers, your super gloss, your catalyst. Well, this is the first all-in-one gel coat can. As you can see in the back, this is where the MEKP sits. And how we activate it is by popping off the, the red cap putting it underneath and pressing down on it, just like that. The red cap actually is a pin inside that releases the gel coat, the MEKP, excuse me. And what you want to do is you want to shake it up and get the MEKP circulated through the gel coat for an even cure. And as you can see, we actually created a new spray tip. For anybody that's ever sprayed gel coat before, even uh, polyurethane, uh, this tip, the red top, this actually controls the, uh, the, your fan. You can move it around, so if you want a smaller area of coverage, you bring it on to level one, a larger, level four. You can actually swivel the, the tip for any direction that you want, and as far as the amount of flow, it's the pressure in which you can use your finger on the nozzle. It's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a larger fan. And what you what you want to do is you want to cover the area first uh, with gel coat. This is what's called the tack coat. Now I can go smaller. And as you can see, it flows much differently in smaller areas. So we can do that. So we're going to actually cover the whole area. We're going to 
to adjust outside. Just like that. I want to stay about eight inches away from the boat. If you get up to the tape line and you want a accurate spray, that's all you have to do is lower it to back to level one again. So we're gonna let that start to cure and uh, we'll see how it is in the next few minutes. As you can see, we sprayed the area, well, we puttied the area first, then we sprayed the area with the new Dolphinite gel coat aerosol can. Um, super glossed out, it actually has a self leveler in it, so uh, you really don't even have to sand. Uh, if you decide to, just use a thousand grit and buff, uh, and that's how easy it is.